peaceful protesters marching in Nevada City on Sunday were confronted by counter protesters, and then this happened. Get the out of my town! Get the out of my town! Get the out of my town! He's saying, get out of my town. Protesters tell me they were shoved, spat on, some were punched, and told to get out of town. Now, I talked to one of the peaceful protesters tonight, also the police chief in Nevada City. The protester is now filing a police report in hopes someone will be held accountable. A peaceful protest on Sunday quickly turned into the opposite in Nevada City. As they walked down the street, protesters were met with counter protesters. They essentially charged us and wouldn't let us through and tried to create a wall and immediately began pushing people. A peaceful protester who asked not to be named out of concerns for her safety took these videos. It was a lot of really intense violence. They were also hitting us with metal flagpoles. This video also shows a counter protester hit a peaceful protester in the face. It was really scary. It was one of the scariest things I've experienced. I have not had, you know, four or five grown men pushing my body and trying to get me to fall down and being violent towards me ever in my life. Police were present, but no arrests were made. Now, Nevada City Police Chief Chad Ellis is saying the counter protesters were the agitators here. He says his department is investigating and criminal charges could follow. Everything from assault to vandalism to destruction of property. I want us to have the safety and security to peacefully protest and to know that if someone comes to hurt us, that that person will be stopped. Chief Ellis says he has been in contact with the Nevada County District Attorney. Still, this protester wants people to know what she says is the truth and is calling for justice tonight. This is a real dark truth that small town racism feels very comfortable and can go out in public and hurt people and law enforcement. And within the last hour, we did just get an entire statement from Chief Ellis. He also told me that they will be releasing body camera video from this incident so they can show people how officers responded, what their conversations were like with counter protesters. Of course, we'll keep you updated.